Yo, what's going on guys? Jason Trio here with BitTrio.com. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. And I was just clicking through my videos here in my YouTube studio. And uh, we hit 1,000 videos. So these numbers after the video, this was me counting how many videos I did. And it's kind of a pain actually to go back, look, and see how many videos I did, what number I was on, make sure I didn't lose count. From video number one, back in, pull out this sheet here, October 4th, 2018. So over a full year ago, video number one, I've been counting all the way up to 1,000, dude. So that's a pretty big accomplishment. 1,000 videos, and uh, I'm just gonna stop counting now. Yesterday was like video 1,002. I did a couple Skyweaver videos, 1,001, one th maybe it was 1,003. I'm not sure, but I made the decision. I'm pretty sure I made the decision. We'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't wanna regret it. You know, I don't wanna count all the way to 1,000 then stop counting and be like, man, I really want to know how many videos I did. But it's a pain in the ass to count. And I think 1,000 is a pretty good goal, you know, making 1,000 videos. That's pretty cool, man, 1,000 videos. So I'm pretty cool with that saying, yeah, you know, I got over 1,000 videos and we'll just leave it at that. So I'm gonna stop counting my videos I hit my goal of 1,000, and uh, that's pretty good, man. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's get into this mystery reward. Uh, another booty butt common. So we're on this uh, water quest. Let's see if we can get this done today. And block trade still has steam down for maintenance so i can't exchange my steam for bitcoin or anything else hive they don't have hive on that platform i mean come on i thought block trades was one of the biggest people behind the hive fork and in my opinion they should be the first to support it support the damn token allow users to exchange their steam for hive makes sense to me but they're not doing that so what in the hell is going on we'll see what goes on as time goes on so melee mayhem do i even want to use melee guys here probably the Lord with the roots. Maybe I just put a cockatrice in the bag. I guess it's gonna get hit with the roots, but I he kind of protects a little bit from a sneak. He's just gonna kill himself though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. I'll just put the pirate archer in, I guess. This is fine. So yeah, I want to unload my steam. I'm sure everyone does. And there was somebody in the Discord that told me about this exchange. Ionami. It's got steam. And it's got Hive. But, you know, I don't know. I don't want to have to sign up for another exchange. That's what makes block trades so good. You don't, you just, you don't need any KYC. You just get on there and boom, they convert it. They're, they charge a pretty hefty fee, it seems. I never looked into it to see what the fee was. But it's just so convenient that it's been worth it. You know, it's like, man, this is awesome. This is super convenient. You don't have to put it on the market with a limit order and sell it. I mean, it just happens instantly. They'll send it right to your address. I've been impressed by this service. It's been a great service. 
Right, I'm gonna change this song now. I try and hear that song. All right, so he's got a cockatrice and a lord. Yeah, I think his team probably wins. And it does. The gold team, too. Extra special. But the cool thing, too, though, about Hive. So I've been posting on Splinterlands. Got to upvote on Splinterlands. And on Hive. Got to upvote on Hive. So not only did your wallet fork and you got double the amount. I mean, look at this. Everybody just doubled their shit. Now you can get double rewards for the time being. We'll see how long this lasts. And also, is it even good for Hive if everybody's still posting on Steam? You know, it's kind of like separating the community. There has to be one that takes over. You know, which one's going to take over? So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know which one's going to take over. Hopefully, I think, you know, hopefully it's Hive in this situation here. All right, so Lost Legendaries, I think this is a good time to run that Mermaid Healer. Three. Oh, damn. Look at this squad. So the pixie, do I keep the pixie in the back for sneak? She has flying. And then the other option is put it in the front to dodge a snipe. But I have the mermaid back here or up here. Either or, I guess, works. Not sure about the healer or the wizard either in this case. Ah, it's okay though. Hopefully the Naga warrior can hold her own for a bit. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Magic. Uh, uh, pretty similar team. I like our squad, though. I think our squad is just a tad better. Are we better? Who do we got? Just a better tank? Oh, you pissed me off. Ugh. Our tank ain't doing shit, though. We need our dodge to come through. Dodge? Yeah, baby. There's one. That's pretty big, but, uh... Is our team good? I don't know. He gets the extra speed. No. So how? Oh, shit. How do we win now? I'm, I was thinking how. What the hell? I was thinking how did he even fit all that in there? It's like almost the exact same lineup. Except four, five, six. Where's the difference? Three? All right. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Oh, I have the Dwarven Wizard. He doesn't have the Dwarven Wizard. So five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he's here. Oh, but his Valdemar is not level four. I want to watch that again. I for sure thought we lost that. All right, let's watch that again. So we started getting beat in the early game.
Yeah, I really don't know how we won this. We had a clutch dodge right there, though. Was it our six health on the mermaid healer? No, the mermaid healer goes down. How? Wow, wow. Okay, the stun. You know what? It was the stun. It was the stun, man. And the... Wow, one health. It was the dwarven wizard. That allowed us to get that win. Look at that. The Wizzy. The Dwarven Wizard, dude. Coming through. That's a great card, man. I know it went down in value a lot. I spent $40 on that card and it, it since dipped. I don't know. It's like 15 bucks or something crazy now. But it's still a great card. I'm not upset that I got it. I mean, you know, I wish I would have got it. I wish I would have waited. Got the card at like 86, 90 cents a card, and it's down to like 40 cents or something. Last I looked, kind of shitty. But what are you gonna do? All right, here we go. The slow dudes. Who is slow? The red dragon slow. Uh, we don't have a tank heal in grass that's slow. Do we? I guess the wood nymph. But we're probably going to definitely see the lord. You know, black dragon gives slow, which kind of sucks. So does the serpentine mystic. He gives slow, which kind of sucks. Poison is clutch. And we're going to need some big dogs. Man, I wish Black Dragon didn't give slow in this situation. Five speed is a little bad, but I think it's okay here because it's magic, so it's not going to miss. And then here we go. We can run the Goblin Chef, dude. Affliction and Poison. He's pretty good. I know he can attack close range on this one, but I'm still going to keep him in the back. Three speeds, pretty good. If he could drop a poison. So we got two poisons. Double poison. We got a tank heal and an affliction. Let's do this. Imagine if the goblin chef had shatter. With it's shatter with affliction. That would be pretty sick. Okay, well... Speaking of Shatter, I wish we had Shatter here. Well, he's got Taunt and Rez. Okay. I like our team, though. I still like our team. He's got a stun. If we can keep our tank alive, we're going to do good. Oh, one poison's nice. Oh, we cannot keep our tank alive. Well, that sucks. Damn, the stun, no. Now the stun is starting to hurt us. Now we might be in a bit of trouble. All right, he missed the stun there. Surprisingly, a two speed on a five speed, and he misses the stun. What in the hell? All right, no heals. Doesn't matter. Looks like we're taking over now on this Grand High Witch. She's in the clan. She's in the immortal gods. Well, we're showing her how it's done. Gotta put the affliction in. Did it even work? I don't know. Who worked? I think the poison came through. So maybe the poison worked for us there. All right, what's going on here? I'm getting text messages. Who's texting? Some idiots. <laughs> yeah, I'm texting. All right, let's get one more game in here. 
Reverse speed and keep your distance. Well, that kind of sucks. It leads me into magic. But you know everybody's playing the Lord. Ten? Six, four? Can't run swiftness here. Even though I have seen people run swiftness. And I still lose to them. So I could do that. I guess I'll just do this. Six, four... Medusa doesn't really do much. Hopefully the Dwarven Wizard could just eat whoever they got. But a lot of people are going to run it like this. Look, they got the Lord and the Prismatic Energy. Double Magic Reflect. Pretty nasty. Okay, I think we win this pretty easily. He's got a 5 speed. He's got a stun, which doesn't matter. Damn, but we stun his ass! We just gotta drop his tank. Before he kills us. Then he's gonna res him. Let's go, let's kill this dude! All right, come on. Kill this tank before he kills us. I don't think we're gonna. All right, the res not a huge deal. We're gonna kill him next turn. We're gonna lose Dusa and the Sea Genie here next turn as well. Oh, it's nice that he wasted his res on the Cyclops and not the Defender of Truth so he doesn't reapply the armor. Not that we've been busting the armor down any. Oh, here's a good chance for us to stun his healer. Let's go. Can we? No. All right, battle's gonna take forever, but I think we got it. Stun that damn healer. Yes. Look at this guy, Dwarven Wizard putting in work today. He's the man. All right, we got this all day. Crush. All right, it's going to be it for this Tuesday edition of the stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody has a great day. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Later.